Bahamas Air taking a major hit in its finances. Good evening, I'm Jiminy Swain. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping news tonight, first it was the Hurricane Dorian impacting its major markets in Abaco and Grand Bahama. And now the global COVID-19 pandemic has added an even further strain on the finances of the national fly carrier. And what may be even worse is that the airline's 2020-2021 budget allocation has decreased from the current budget year. Tourism and Aviation Minister the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar is hoping the airline can perform with less during the new budget year. The board nor management of Bahamas here to, to reduce any staff, but rather to see the restructuring primarily through attrition. That good news applies to Bahamas Air's 595 employees as Tourism and Aviation Minister, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, acknowledged in his budget contribution in the House of Assembly Wednesday that the national airline continues to face significant financial constraints. While the airline's subvention has been reduced to $19 million for the 2020-2021 budget cycle, the Aviation Minister says the primary plan is to enhance the airline's revenue and reduce costs wherever possible. Bahamas Bahamas Air has hardly spared the devastating effects of Hurricane Dorian. Its revenues were slashed by more than $8 million, particularly as Freeport and Abaco are key, highly profitable routes for the airline. We are all keenly aware of this global economic hardship caused by COVID-19, and especially how the airline industry has been brought to an unceremonious standstill. Since the end of March, Bahamas Air has seen its revenue drop to almost zero. Minister Diagula says the only income the airline recently incurred was from those seven repatriation flights organized by the government. While revenue rose to some $92 million in 2019, Diagula said the airline continued seeing that figure soar. The previous passenger service system to the new system is expected to save Bahamas Air an estimated $3 million per year and will greatly improve the airline's operations and overall customer experience. In 2018 fiscal year, the last year that Bahamas Air used the old system, the airline paid $5.12 million with another $435,000 in ancillary costs, which will no longer be necessary under the new crane system. For similar activities and processes, Bahamas Air will instead incur costs of $2.5 million, representing savings of over 45%. While revenue rose to some $19 million in 2019, Diagla said the airline anticipated seeing that figure soar to $100 million, but COVID-19 dashed those dreams. The aviation minister outlined savings were realized with a change in its ticketing system. The changes have also seen the closure of some ticket offices as the airline embraces the use of technology. Since restarting its operations post-COVID-19, the airline has closed two of its three CTOs. The National Street location in Oaksfield and a second location in, in, in Freeport at the Calmelvin Complex. For the immediate future, the customers can still use the Palmdale CTO and the Airport Administration building in Freeport. The closure of these ticket offices will save the airline an estimated $186,000 a year. Bahamas Air's officials also making an adjustment to the company's fleet as it will acquire a second Boeing 737-700 next generation aircraft to replace the outdated 500 series. From its upcoming fiscal year cost, why see Peter we waking on things? The lease of the 737-3700 at $1.1 million, $1 million per year will allow Bahamas Air to continue its vital service to the Bahamian people. The new aircraft features 183, 138 seats compared to the 120 seats on the old Boeing 737 model, alongside a better fuel burn, greater flight, flight range, operational economics, and reliability. While the aviation industry makes adjustments due to COVID-19, Bahamas Air is estimating a 22% reduction in capacity to its international destinations.